Family, friends, and state officials are remembering the life of former Secretary of State Susan Farmer. The first, first woman elected to statewide office in Rhode Island was late to rest today. Eyewitness News anchor Susan Roberts is live in our studio now with more on today's services. Mike, dozens of people gathered in Providence this morning to pay their respects to Susan Farmer. Farmer died last week at the age of 71 following a long battle with cancer. She was a Republican and served two terms as Secretary of State from 1983 to 1987. She later led Rhode Island PBS for nearly two decades before retiring in 2004. The president and CEO of Rhode Island PBS was one of the many people who attended her funeral at Grace Church this morning. Immediately she became my best friend when we started working around PBS, and we had a lot of laughs together. She had tireless energy for anything that she got involved in, whether it be without PBS, whether it be Big Sisters, or whatever organization she had tireless energy for it. On the PBS side, she was extremely, extremely well respected by her peers throughout the country. She sat on numerous boards and commissions for public television, and she was a tireless fundraiser for national efforts as well as our own efforts here in the state of Rhode Island. Susan Farmer leaves, leaves behind her husband and two daughters as well as four grandchildren. Donations in her memory may be made to the Rhode Island PBS Foundation. Susan Roberts, Eyewitness News.